Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well out there and you are killing it in these notary streets. So for those of you that are new and are watching for the first time, thank you very much for watching. We are all things notary life, journey, and experience here. I hope that you subscribe to the channel or if not, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. For those that have been rocking with me for a long time or you've been rocking with me for a little while thank you guys for coming back and it makes me feel very good and i hope that you're getting something from these videos that i am making so today's video is about my ron experience so for those who don't know what ron is ron is remote online notary or remote online notarization since COVID, remote online notarizations has really taken off and it has really skyrocketed here in the United States and around the world. There are many different platforms that people use. So today I'm going to talk about my overall experience. I'm going to talk about the platforms that I use, why I use them, and I'm also going to talk about where I am in my RON journey at this time. Of course, to be a RON, uh, or remote online notary you have to be approved by your state um, of course you can do i know here in florida you can become a ron and a traditional notary at the same time when you apply so for those who don't know what ron is ron is remote online notarization and it is when documents are notarized by a state approved notary in an electronic form whether signer or signers use an electronic signature and appears before the notary using a two-way video audio excuse me audio video technology if you guys see me looking this way it's because i have written down my notes that i'm trying to uh keep up with so out of the 50 states 43 states allow notaries to perform remote online notaries there are four states that allow um excuse me there are four states that are going to allow notaries to do remote online notarization at a future date and california just got added to that list and then there are three states where notaries cannot perform online notary and there are currently no plans to allow them to do them in the future at the time that i'm making this video so I thought that that was very interesting and wanted to provide that information to you all. So I have been a remote online notary since July of 2021. And when I started, I started out with the platform Notarize. That was the only platform that I knew at the time. And I started with them because they gave you training you didn't have to pay for their platform, it was free. If you signed up, you joined, they trained you on how to use their platform. And then they gave you, you would get on this, you would pick a shift. You would say, hey, I'm available for two hours on this day from such and such time. You would sign up for that shift. You would, you know, get on the computer, sign in at that, at, on that time, and be ready to go. And then they would give you calls. Um, they would give you calls and, um, you would do your online notarizations from there, and then they would pay you for those calls that you received. So I did notarize from July of 2021, probably until sometime in 2022, maybe October of 2022. And then it was very hard to catch a call. When you have 500 notaries on one platform at one time, it is very hard for you to catch a call, and that is what you have to do with Notarize. With Notarize, you have to catch a call. So when the call came in, you had to click on it, and if you were the first person to get it, boom, you were the person to get the call. And they also had different tier levels, um, and so based off of where you were in their tier, that's how it decided on who got the call as well. And it, I just felt that it was not manageable any longer. So I started looking for another Ron platform. That is when I came across One Notary. Um, One Notary, a lot of you guys may have heard of them, and if you haven't, 
One Notary is another platform where you can bring your own clients, but you can also sign up with them and you can also get clients as well. Uh, they don't charge you at all and they also train you on how to use their platform. So I like the One Notary platform because that's where So when you start with One Notary, they bring you in as a backup or as a witness. If I'm not mistaken, One Notary is one of the only platforms that provides witnesses for their signers. So if they come on doing any type of estate planning or any type of loan signing that needs two witnesses, then we're able to, in the chat that we use for that particular platform, we're able to say, hey, for the session that I'm in, I need two witnesses. And then those two witnesses are available. They will hop on the call. They will hop on the session with us. They will get those completed and then they're able to leave. Um, or they can stay until the entire notarization is done. So that is another thing that I like. So once you sign up with them, they give you training. They bring you in as a backup which means that when the queue is full you will get a text message or email saying hey there are currently five calls holding don't you want to jump on and help your colleagues then you can jump on log in and then you can get extra work that way and they pay for each notarization that you are completing um so that way you don't have to worry about getting calls you don't have to worry about catching a call so they have two different ways for you to earn income. They also have what are called shift notaries. So therefore, because they're they're 24, I think they're 24 hours, they also need to have certain notaries between certain times. So if the workload calls for it, they can say, hey, we're gonna be coming out with some new shifts and the shifts are gonna be from here to here. Anyone that wants to sign up, please send an email to the appropriate individual. And so therefore that will be your schedule going forward. So you can continue, continually, make in, uh, continually make income. They also have, when the shift notaries are off, they can send a message out and say, hey, I need to be off on this day for such and such reason. Is anybody able to cover my shift? As a backup notary, you are able to cover the shift notaries uh, shift for that date and time or whatever time date span time span that they need and then you're receiving income from doing that as well so one notary is my main platform um, that I use at this particular time because I also can bring my own clients to do general notary work but I also can bring my own clients to do loan signings as well so I really really like one notary they are a uh, family-like atmosphere, and I like being a notary on One Notary. The only thing that I don't like about One Notary is that when I bring my own clients, if they are international clients, they don't provide the capability for me to be able to bring in to do an international signing or international remote online notarization. So at this time, I have also signed up with Cyberize It. Uh, Cyberize It allows you to bring your own clients and complete international signings as well. I have a signing company that I'm signed up with and I do a lot of remote online notarizations for them and they have a lot of international clients and I miss out on doing those notarizations because I don't have a platform that allows me to do that. So that is why I am now signing up with Cyberize It. I am currently going through their training program. And then once I finish with their training program and I have everything under my belt, then that way I can get those international RON signings from that particular signing service. So where am I now in my RON signing journey? It is all encompassed with the rest of my notary journey because, of course, for those of you that don't know, I also am a, of course, I'm a notary public, so I do general notary work, I do loan signings, I do RON, and I have other, um, 
uh, I'm also an alpha steel courier. I'm also a documents courier uh, as well. So it is all included with everything else that I do. I am very, very much looking forward to where my Ron journey will lead. I do think that more loan signings, maybe this year or next year, will be remote. Um, and we will be able to do more as we have more states that are allowing their notaries to do remote online notarizations for them. You're going to have more lenders being uh, signing up because they're going to feel that it's secure, which means that not only are you going to be able to do loan signings, you're going to be doing sellers, you're going to um, well, loan signings, which is what that all encompasses. But we're going to be doing many, many, many more documents on remote online notarization. Uh, someone asked, do I think that that will hurt the traditional general notary work where someone calls you on the phone or want to come to your office? I don't think so because just like with everything else, you're going to have those standard bearers that are going to want to always meet face to face with someone. So that is always going to be there as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you are a remote online notary, if you knew what it was, have you ever done, um, whether or not you've been on either side of being a remote uh, a remote notarization, have you had something done remotely, was it an easy process, did you not like it, um, and let me know if you are a remote online notary, and if so, what are some of the things, what are some of the pros about it, and what are some of the cons about it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video, until next time. Happy stamping and signing.